What's up guys? Welcome to week eight in my life as a screen print and DTF business owner. If you guys are new here, my name is Alex. I am the founder and creator of amstransfers.com. We are a custom screen print and DTF transfer business. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the heat transfer business, the problems that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, learning more about how you can start your own business, make sure to stick around. All right, guys, so this morning is not going according to plan at all. We got into the office about 6.45. I was initially going to get the printer started up, getting the prints running for today, and uh, so we could get, have that going while we were still getting set up for the day, but that is not what the printer wanted to do today. So, all right, this was a little bit my fault and the printer's fault, I, will, I won't lie, I'll admit. And uh, we came in this morning, I uh, immediately noticed there was a problem because there was like some water on the ground near the humidifier. So um, I took note of it, set my stuff down, and then noticed that there was also water like on the printer and on the uh, drying unit itself. So everything just had like a small like dew layer of water. Um, and I noticed that I had both of the humidifiers still running. So that basically meant that the humidity in this room reached 100%. And then the water in the air condensed is my understanding and then turned to droplets that would collect onto surfaces. So um, I got in this morning, dried everything off and then took note of everything that was going, like just tried to collect myself, see so exactly where things were at, um, turned on the printer, at which point the printer head didn't really know where it was. Um, so I was like, oh, that's not very good. So I tried to do some things to fix it and I thought that everything was going to work. So I ran a test print and at which point when I was running the test print, the printer head slammed against the side of the printer. Um, yeah. So the printer head slammed against the side of the printer, at which point I knew I was pretty screwed. That was not a good sound. It was a pretty hard hit. Um, I thought that there was like limit switches that prevented that exact thing from happening, but I saw it happen, lo and behold. And um, so at that point that happened, um, I figured out the problem that was going on with it not being able to know exactly where it was. So I got that resolved. And then I tried to run another test print, like scared out of my mind that it was going to hit the wall again. Um, so I like tried to put my hand there as a little bit of padding so that it wouldn't be as severe. Tried to run the print, that problem was solved thankfully, but then I was running into another problem where no ink was coming out of the print heads. Um, so I ran a cleaning, ink was coming out during the cleaning, so I knew that this was probably a problem with like the actual like, communication of the print head and the saw and like the board on the printer, um, the main board on the printer. So uh, I took off the panel to see, cause there's like an LED indicator that will go, go red if there's a problem. And sure enough, the indicator was red indicating that there was a uh, problem with the print head connection. Um, so needless to say, that's basically what I've been doing for the past, it's already 1247. Uh, just got it really figured out at like 1145 and now I'm dealing with the printer head being clogged because I was like under there touching it and stuff. So uh, the printer head's a little clogged right now. I got it sitting in some cleaning solution, but man, what a start to the uh, to the week, a start to our Monday, definitely not the most ideal situation, that's for sure. All right guys, time is about 3.30 in the afternoon. I was able to get the DTF printer working. Um, still have a little bit of the uh, lines in the nozzle that are clogged, but um, I'm able to work with it just by increasing the quality of the print right now. And then overnight, I will leave it sitting in the cleaning solution, hopefully to dislodge that clog that I am uh, having some trouble with. But uh, in the meantime, things are going all right right now. We're just really trying to figure out the best way to get the inventory system working. Um, right now, we're having the pro problem where since the full color designs are almost printed on demand, um, we can't really, it's like an all or nothing thing for the inventory. So we either can do our inventory for the screen print transfers or and everything, including the full color transfers, or we can't do inventory at all. Um, so that's just another problem that we're trying to work through, figure out the best way to deal with uh, using the software that we're using now because at this point we're pretty invested in ShipStation. We've got all of our warehouse locations assigned in ShipStation 
and um, I don't really want, I like sh using ship stations, so we just have to really figure out a way to make it work for us. Anyways, just uh, finishing up some of these orders before the day gets out. Unfortunately, today is President's Day, so the post office and UPS are closed and can't ship anything out. But um, needless to say, it was still an all right day. The morning was certainly not what I was expecting or looking forward to do. Um, I had a pretty busy morning scheduled and unfortunately wasn't able to do any of the tasks that I had. So that's going to have to get pushed to the most important tasks tonight when I get home and uh, the other tasks to another day this week, hopefully. But um, I will check in with you guys again once we are uh, heading out. But in the meantime, I will leave you guys with a quick time lapse to see these jobs being finished up. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today, Monday, uh, first day of the week. Not the best day that we've had here at AMS, that's for sure. But uh, I'm just super thankful that today was President's Day and the postal carriers weren't open for us to ship because that would have put a lot more uh, stress on my plate in the morning. But I'm glad that that all got resolved. I still have to put the cleaning solution in the printer to sit overnight. And hopefully when we come back tomorrow morning, everything will be all good with that got the film cut so tomorrow when we get in just get that cut up and the remaining orders that are on hold sent out and uh we'll be well we weren't able to ship the package that we packaged up earlier today because again president's day but uh tomorrow we'll have a ton of packages hopefully the entire ww transfer queue cleared out and the package is on the way to the customers morning guys just got into the office time is about 6 55 in the morning today's going to be a good day there's not going to be any printer problems i'm just putting the energy out there in the air so that it comes true manifest uh, manifesting so today uh going to start off with uh we're getting the full color up and running get some of the ww transfer designs going so that we can get those um all stocked up for our full color designs all right, so this so this morning I have to focus on um, getting the full color up and running, uh, eat some breakfast, and then after breakfast I have to burn a screen for a custom screen printing order that we got and uh, get that screen burned and drying for Michaela so that she can get started on that around 9 this morning. And after that I'm going to spend about two hours of today working on a content-led SEO course um, that I found on SEMrush. So they offer this SEMrush Academy that has a whole bunch of like really well done courses. So I'm gonna take uh, two hours out of the day today, do that so that I can uh, really master uh, my SEO strategy that I'm going to be using for the website because SEO is really important to have a strategy. You can't just be throwing stuff up, throwing stuff up against the wall and hoping that it sticks. You really have to have a um, planned out, well thought strategy. And uh, if you do, the results will be pretty quick and um, long lasting. So going to take the time to learn more about content-led SEO. Uh, the course is by the guy who started the uh, blog Backlinko, if you guys are familiar. It's honestly my favorite blog for uh, SEO stuff, so I'm super excited. That's going to be great. But before I do that, I have to uh, go over our inventory system, um, just go over all of, the, all of our inventory again, and uh, make sure that the count is matching what's actually shown and what's online. And then um, afterwards I'm going to try, I think what might be a, a decent system. So uh, after I print out what I have in the pick list, I'm gonna go ahead and assign that item to inventory. And then that way, when we go to ship them, we can allocate all of the items that we have for the orders. That way we'll know um, if there's any items missing from the order that we don't have printed. If there's any items missing from the order in general because you can like select each item to just like double verify that the item is actually in the order so i really want to implement that and it'll also block the shipment so like if for example there isn't a transfer in stock in inventory it'll block the shipment and won't allow the person um, at the ship station to not print to, it won't allow them to print the label so I really want to turn that on. Um, right now we have it off because our full color designs don't show any stock because uh, they're printed on demand. So I think after I print them on the DTF for the day, I'll go ahead and assign them an inventory spot 
and then that way hopefully I can um, I think we might have to implement like a cutoff time for the WWE transfer full colors um, maybe like one o'clock and then once I'm done at one o'clock then the person shipping can uh, will have like the the fresh list of today's shipping I don't know guys this has been really tough to figure out um, I don't really have any like warehouse uh, logistics shipping experience so kind of just doing this all uh, as I go and learning hopefully you guys can take some tips away from this and use them in your business if you guys uh, aren't already familiar we're using ShipStation for our inventory and fulfillment um, it's working all right for us right now I just wish like yesterday I mentioned that you can have like inventory for some items and not all but it appears that it's an all or nothing system which which makes sense I, I do get that <laughs> anyways after I get done with the content led SEO, it'll be about 12.30, got to work on the short vlog, and then after that I have uh, some custom full color orders that got placed over the weekend and yesterday that we need to get printed. There is a, a good bit because we weren't able to print them yesterday because the full color was down and we weren't able to ship anyway, so no harm, no foul really. Um, got to get those printed today though so that we still continue to meet our one business day turnaround time. And uh, yeah guys, it's going to be a busy day. Let's hope we have no problems today. Alright guys, just got this roll of WW transfer orders printed and with that roll we should have all of the orders that we need to package up all of the orders in the WW transfer queue. That's going to be awesome. I am super excited to get those shipped out today. Uh, Christian and Michaela right now are just finishing up the WW transfer custom screen, or not custom, WW transfer screen print transfers. They only have about like 230 to print today, so it shouldn't take them uh, that much longer. They got started about a half hour ago, and I think they're already done with the She Is design. So once they're done with that, they're going to start packaging up the orders. Michaela is going to go live on TikTok. Yesterday, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but we trained Christian on how to package up orders for WW transfers. So um, that'll be great. Michaela can focus entirely on uh, going live on TikTok, giving her full attention to the chat, while Christian then packages up orders and I finish up the custom AMS orders that have to go out today. Time is about 11.05. I am about an hour into my content-led SEO time that I had blocked out. Unfortunately, I just haven't had a time to get started on it. I've been running around between um, getting them what they need, uh, running around trying to figure out what exactly is going on with our inventory situation, trying to wrap my head around that so we can get this situated. I think we're really close to that. I just have a few... Um, a few more that I have to go through and confirm in the software, but after that I think we will be good to go to finally launch the system and have it uh, block shipments that don't have all complete inventory. Um, not only will that make it uh, faster for in the morning when we have to decide what we have to print what we're getting low on, but it'll also make it easier and avoid the mistakes. Okay, time is 12.35. Michaela and Christian just got done printing the WW transfer screen print orders that we had to print today. They also knocked out the custom AMS order for screen print transfers that we had to print. So we're in a good position for that. I have the inventory system live on the website. So now it will block the shipment of any items that we don't have enough stock of. So that is awesome. I'm excited to touch that, test that out today. Um, while I was doing that though, I noticed that there was one item that we didn't have in inventory and someone ordered that transfer so I got to print just a few of those to uh, make sure that we can get the order out and get something in inventory and then tomorrow when we get in we will end up printing that design. So let's go ahead and knock that out. I'm probably just going to do like 1020. It's a uh, the skeleton drinking coffee design in white. So let's get that knocked out. I will maybe set up a time lapse. I don't know, I can't listen to music when I've set up a time lapse, so it's pretty annoying. Time is 1.32 in the afternoon. I just got the short vlog posted to TikTok. I still have to download the video from TikTok and get that posted to YouTube Shorts, but that won't take too long. 
In the meantime, I think I'm going to get the custom AMS orders started on the full color printer. And then once those are already going, I'll go ahead and download the video from TikTok, upload that to YouTube. And uh, I also wanted to go live on the Choose AMS TikTok while I'm printing the full color orders, just because I haven't gone live in a little while. I think I went live only like two times last week, which is definitely under par. I try and go live every single day, Monday through Friday. And um, yesterday I also wasn't able to go live. So yeah, I gotta make sure I go live today, get the full color order set up, get the uh, TikTok posted to YouTube shorts, and then we'll be good to go on TikTok live. All right, guys, that's going to be a successful Tuesday. Super successful, super productive. I am very happy with where we are leaving today. Right now, the Shopify order queue is at one order, but Christian is packaging it up right now. So once uh, he is done packaging that up, we will be at zero orders in Shopify. If you guys would like to change that, feel free to order here, www.transfers.com. But we got like six orders during the live and we got those shipped out today. They ordered probably less than like an hour and a half ago got them shipped out. The inventory system worked perfectly today for Christian. It showed him the exact uh, location of each of the transfers. So it really speeded up the time to process all the orders. Man, guys, it really shows that when you put the time into like focusing and building out a good system that it really pays off in spades. Um, I'm just hoping that this can continue. Hopefully it can continue for the rest of the week and we can continue sh shipping the WW transfers next day. That will be huge. That will be a great thing to advertise. Um, someone's trying to come into the door right now. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for uh, all of the support so far. If you guys were in the live stream, thank you so much for joining, for the follows, for all of the engagement. Uh, shout out to Michaela for all the hard work that she's been putting in on the screen print transfers. Shout out to Christian for all the hard work that he has been putting in uh, on the screen print transfers. He's been putting in a lot of hard work, packaging orders. He's been doing a really good job here. Uh, really happy with the performance of him. Let's go. Uh, let's go home. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. 7:20 in the morning. Just got to the office about 20 minutes ago. Today is going to be a AMS heavy day. We just got an order for 350 custom screen prints. So today that's what Michaela and Christian will be working on the majority of the day. We're gonna try and switch things up a little bit. Typically we go live for our TikTok live streams in the afternoon, but today we're gonna to give it a try going live on the WW Transfers page this morning and uh, just see how it goes. Um, we're going to go live printing our DTF orders uh, from 9 to 10, 30, 11. So hopefully it goes well. It is gonna be a weird time. Everybody's gonna be at work and uh, We'll see how it goes. Might be, might turn out well, might not. This is a time that we've never experimented with going live, so I'm excited to try it. Christian is also going to come in today to help out Michaela, as I said, and uh, while Michaela is live on TikTok, he's just gonna work on uh, tidying up the shop, some bits some uh, bits and pieces, loose ends, and uh, then once Michaela is done with the live stream at 11, they will transition to working on the custom AMS order for the day. I have, uh, 
the rest of their time I think will be spent mainly to that and then if any time permits uh, hopefully Christian can uh, get some packages sent out for WWE transfers that hopefully get placed on Michaela's live stream. But uh, anyways, that's what they got going on today. I also have a pretty busy day uh, of just on, odds and ends on the computer. I have to, I already have her transparency printed for the custom AMS order um, printing. I just have to then burn the screen and um, also had to send an email newsletter to, or an email to our newsletter subscribers. And um, I'll respond to a forum question on t-shirtforums.com because uh, I, it's actually like a pretty decent spot to build some like link authority on your site because you can have a link in your footer and I mean they show up on SEMrush as a backlink so if it's really that easy I'll just keep on trying to do that maybe like two three times a week and get those backlinks on different forum posts. Uh, well, little tip there if you guys are in the t-shirt business make sure you're just active on um, t-shirtforums.com with like your website in your little signature that you can have when you respond to posts. So if you respond to a post on that website with your website in the like signature of your message, they'll count that as a backlink uh, for your website. So it's a pretty win-win. You're helping somebody and you're getting a backlink for your website. After that, I want to work on the content-led SEO. I've had it scheduled for the past two days, but I just have not had the time. The other things have come up. So I really am gonna try and make a priority of it today and get that done. I have two and a half hours scheduled. After that, uh, I do wanna try and create some like cool content for the vlog. Um, maybe go be giving you guys like an in-depth look into our inventory system, how we're doing it, what we're using ShipStation to accomplish, how we're organizing our warehouse location, stuff like that. Um, I would like to do that. And then I'm also going to use some of that content to create a short vlog, uh, to post to TikTok and YouTube. After that, I have uh, this direct to, uh, so it's direct to film, obviously I'm printing on film. Uh, however, my supplier reached out and uh, they were offering a sale on this roll of paper. So apparently you can also use this paper roll uh, instead of the film. And it's not only cheaper, but they're saying that it results in better, uh, brighter colors and a softer print. So all of those, uh, three things sound great to me. I'm definitely willing to give it a try. I want to uh, experiment with that later this afternoon. I have from two to four scheduled for that. And I'm also maybe going to go live on TikTok doing that. I I think I'm probably gonna experiment, it, experiment with it from two to three. And then from like three to four, I'll go live on TikTok if everything goes well, just showing what we got going on. And that's what today is going to look like. Let's get right into it, eat some breakfast. 1.38 in the afternoon, Michaela just finished up a TikTok Live on WW Transfers. We keep shattering these records that we have. Uh, today was the best live that we have ever had, bar none. It was the best uh, by like every single metric, best by sales, best by number of followers, best by likes, best by sustained viewership. So uh, shout out to Michaela. She is a rock star for going live for like four hours. Um, I know that that's not easy. Shout out to Michaela put in the comments thanks for all the hard work Michaela but um, in the meantime we've just been printing off the WW transfer orders I know that yesterday I said if anybody wants to change the zero uh, orders in the queue uh, to check out the website well Michaela again killed it with the uh, live stream as I just alluded to it was the highest number sales that we've ever gotten from a TikTok live stream so we're back up to 30 orders in the queue uh, for WW transfers, but that's not a problem because we have our inventory solution managed. These orders should be able to get out tomorrow at the latest. We should be able to get probably about 15 of the orders out today because I uh, saw them coming in was getting the files loaded up on the DTF printer. So that's awesome. Feeling really good about that. My man Christian unfortunately had uh, some problems to deal with. So we had to head home today. Um, that's not that no big deal. Uh, we were planning on doing the uh, custom AMS order that I said this morning, but uh, since he left, we're going to have to get that done tomorrow because um, it is a big order and Michaela can't do it by herself. In the meantime, I have been helping Michaela out uh, with the WW transfer DTF orders. I have been uh, working on the content led SEO. I unfortunately only got like 45 minutes to work on it today. I was just kind of doing it in between. Um, what Michaela needed me for and it wasn't the most focused so it wasn't the best work that I have ever gotten done I'd really like some time just 
solid focus, just drill down into that and give it my all. Um, the rest of the day is looking like we have a, like two custom DTF orders that we got to print before the day is up, but uh, just more of the WW transfer orders, making sure that we can get these out tomorrow at the latest. Okay, time is 2.21. Just got my TikTok posted for the day. I still have to download that and then get it posted to YouTube and Instagram Reels. So that won't take too long. In the meantime, the print on WW Transfers is progressing well. We are currently at 60%. So hopefully we can finish that up before three so that we can get all of these orders packaged up. Uh, in the meantime, between the last clip that I filmed, I was able to go through the orders that we did get and allocate all of the ones that we already have uh, in stock or will have in stock once this is finished up. So we'll be able to ship out 18 of the 30 orders. So that means tomorrow we'll only have to print out 12 of the full color orders. Plus if any more come in between now and tomorrow since I already did cut it off and uh, we still have to get that custom AMS order out. guys time is 343 i am just cutting out the transfer file that i was printing earlier i already got uh, the most of these cut up and i still have all of this to do i was just on uh, live for tiktok on the choose ams page but unfortunately things again just were not going for me dwindled down to two viewers which was michaela and, <laughs> and i so yeah man i don't know what to do here Tried to do something different, uh, cutting up the transfers rather than printing the DTF orders, but man, still didn't do it for me. Getting a little frustrated over here with these TikTok lives, especially when Michaela's out here. I mean, I should look at it differently. I should look at it, Michaela's out here killing it with the lives, so that makes the significance of me killing it on a live a little less, because um, she's, she's carrying the weight in this uh, business, man. My goodness. Definitely, uh, slower day for me on uh, the AMS page. I did post a TikTok. I'm not too sure how it's doing. But anyways, I'm going to finish this up and uh, I will film a time lapse of me cutting them up. Thursday morning, just got into the shop about an hour and a half ago. Had to stop off at HEB to get some avocados for avocado toast this morning. Today's going to be a uh, fairly low key day, but it's gonna require a lot of work. Uh, today we have to get the custom AMS order that we were supposed to print yesterday out. It is 300 sheets for a back print and then 50 sheets of, it's a gang sheet with the left chest logo on there. Um, I got them right over here. They are ready to be printed, all dry and everything because we were supposed to do them yesterday. So got to do this, the left chest logo, 50 of this one. And then we need to do 300 of that one. 
Uh, Michaela is going to get started working on that. And in the meantime, I'm going to set up the DTF printer and go live on TikTok this morning. Since yesterday, Michaela had such a successful live on the WW Transfers TikTok, I figured it would be worth a try for me to give it a shot on the AMS side. So set up the DTF printer, go live on there. After I get done with that, have to film the short vlog to post to TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Then after that, we just have to go over some of the orders that we have to put into Deco Network that got placed on our Etsy shop, just to make sure that all of the orders are configured properly. Uh, I have to contact one of our customers. And uh, after that, it'll be just printing some of our full color WW transfer orders for the rest of the day. I do want to look into <clears throat> the service front. Um, it's like a all encompassing email platform. So you can use it to basically manage all of your email tickets in one like shared inbox for all of the, the staff in the company. Um, so you can have like your live chats go there. You can have your Instagram DMs, all that kind of stuff, all go to one centralized location. That way we don't miss anything. That way we're not having to go to, oh, they emailed this account, oh, they emailed the contact account, so on and so on. Uh, I want to look into that, see if Front is going to be a valid solution to that problem that we've been having. And after that, I have been having this on my to-do list the past three days. I want to test this role of um, direct to film paper that we got. So I think I mentioned it in a video before, but typically obviously we print on the film. Um, however, I do want to try this paper. It's uh, cheaper and apparently results in brighter colors and uh, softer print. So I want to try it. I just haven't had the enough time to load it up onto the machine, print it, and then heat press it. So hopefully I'll have some time at the end of the day to do that. <sighs> Anyways, let's get started setting up the DTF printer. All right, guys, got the WW transfer orders all set up and running. Time is about 10.45. I am way late on the time that I was supposed to go live on TikTok, but I can start going live now once this file is done printing. is 2.13. A bit of time has passed since I last filmed, uh, but I have just been grinding away on the full color orders. Michaela has been back here grinding away on this big uh, custom AMS order that we got. So it's like uh, 130 sheets of black, 60 sheets of white, and 60 sheets of yellow. She is almost done with the backs it looks like, and then just uh, 50 for the left chests. But yeah, things are going pretty well today. Uh, just earlier today, we had a slight problem with the film. Uh, I had the powder shaker too high and it was generating static electricity, which was causing the powder to stick to the film, um, which is an undesirable uh, effect because then the powder will transfer to the t-shirt. So um, I spent some time troubleshooting that and realized that it was just as simple as turning down the spinning of the powder shaker and the problem went away. So uh, glad that I have that now in my repertoire and I can um, start, I mean, I just now know how to fix that problem. So if it comes up again, shouldn't be, another, shouldn't be a big issue. Currently about 29% uh, of the way through this WW transfer file, and then I just have one more like small uh, file that we have to print and that'll be it for the day. Not too bad of a day. Everything's going well now. 
I think I am going to try and run uh, a TikTok Live on the AMS page because I wasn't able to do it this afternoon because of the powder sticking to the film issue that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so I do want to give that time a try. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow if time permits and uh, scheduling permits really. Give that a try tomorrow morning going live on the AMS page. But in the meantime, I can go live this afternoon and uh, hopefully it's not as terrible as it has been the past couple days. guys that's gonna do it for today thursday it's uh, 358 just wrapped up with super successful live on the choose ams page guys what is this i actually had a good live on the choose ams page thank you to everybody who was in the chat uh jessica if you're watching this shout out super helpful uh with the marketing tips answering other people's questions i love when that happens guys that's amazing uh definitely makes the lives that much better and go by super fast so um super successful live with the choose ams i got the role right here uh, so we're going to have to cut that up tomorrow and get those ww transfer orders sent out Friday, uh, I don't know the date, the 24th of February. Just got into the office a couple minutes ago. Today's gonna be a pretty lame, boring day. I got a bunch of little tasks that I have to do today. Um, starting off, gotta get the transparencies printed and screens burned for the custom AMS orders that Michaela has to print today and uh, get those ready to go for her. And, um, after that, I have to get the files prepared for the custom DTF orders that we got. We got a whole bunch of orders yesterday. Um, I actually can't attribute what they're from. I don't know if they're from TikTok or if they're from our sample boxes. The uh, referring domains for the orders that just got placed, there's nothing. So I think it actually might be from the sample boxes since usually when TikTok refers us, it does uh, say that TikTok was the referring domain. So no, uh, that's pretty cool. The sample boxes are actually paying off. That's good to see. Um, and then finally, after that, I have to finally come to the resolution with my digital factory. Um, I, my trial on the computer that I just activated on is about to end. So I either have to figure out what's going on with the activation key or what. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about and you missed that video, I'll link to it. I think it's this corner here. Um, uh, where I ran into a huge roadblock with Digital Factory and activating my $1,000 Digital Factory software. Um, so make sure to watch that video. It's near the end on Friday where it just, everything hit the fan. After I called Digital Factory, I actually have to pack up some more sample box requests that we got. So we get those out to our customers so that they can hopefully place more orders with us. And then after that, I have to go to Granger to pick up some paper, uh, for our adaptive flasks and we also include paper fill for the uh, DTF transfers and the screen print transfers just to make sure they're not shifting around during transit as much as possible at least. And after Granger, I have to run over to Micro Center to get um, a BL touch for our 3D printers that print the adaptive flask because uh, the BL touch at, at my house is <clears throat> like bent kind of. Uh, if I remember, I'll put in a picture to show you guys. So I need to replace that, grab the part from Micro Center, shout out Micro Center. If you guys have a Micro Center in your area, make sure to support them over Amazon. I love Micro Center so much. The fact that I can just go and pick up a BL Touch, like a super specific 3D printer part, like who even sells 3D printer parts and to begin with, um, like at a physical location, that's crazy. Support Micro Center. Um, 
After I get back from Micro Center, print some of the WW transfer orders on the full color. And after we get done with that, transition into printing some of the custom AMS orders on the full color, get those sent out. And while we're printing the custom AMS orders, I think I'm going to go live on TikTok on the Choose AMS page. Hopefully, we can have as successful as a live as we had yesterday. That'll be awesome. And then once I wrap up that live, I want to finally test the uh, paper that I've been talking about for the past couple of days. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. It's such a, like a non um, high priority for me. I've just been, it's been falling to the very bottom of my list. And then by the end of the day, the day's over. So I really want to test that. I have like an hour and, and 15 minutes dedicated to it. So I think we can get it done today at the end of the day. Time is 9.53 in the afternoon. I got all of the sample boxes all ready to go. Just need to go print the labels and put the labels on the packages for those. Also, um, the weirdest thing, man. So conveniently, I checked the other computer to see just what was going on with Digital Factory. Just honestly, I wanted to see. Um, and lo and behold, the software is prompting me for an activation code on the computer like two weeks ago again i'll put a video here if you uh, missed that video you're not going to want to miss that video um but they told me that that computer was not going to work with digital factory and that i needed to try a different computer that computer wasn't going to work i needed to contact someone who knew more about networking and operating systems um but yeah so now that computer is showing the activation screen that was all i ever needed for it to do two weeks ago it's like there was a bug and then they were made aware of the bug by somebody. I don't know who that could have been. And then they fixed the bug. Is that what happened? Or did something magically change on my end? What do you think happened here? I don't know. Ten oh one, got the sample boxes all packaged up and ready to go. Now let's head to Granger and Micro Center. I just wanted to make a quick note. Um, if you guys are interested in ordering a sample box, I will. Um, I don't know. Uh, if you go to our website, I'll put a, the link right here, amstransfers.com. Uh, if you go to our website, it's one of the first buttons on the homepage. It says uh, request a free sample box. You just go ahead, click that, fill out the form, and we will get you your free sample box with each of our transfer types included in there completely for free. Guys, the Digital Factory Saga is over. It has come to a resolution. I was finally able to activate the software, provide my activation code that I paid $1,000 for, and it works, guys. It freaking works. So. Man, that saga, I am happy to have closed, shut, in the books. Hopefully this is the end of my problems with Digital Factory. Man, guys, that was this is a huge relief for me. On uh, Two weeks ago, Friday, I was stressed beyond all belief. I uh, That was the video where we lost literally $1,600 in one day by not being able to print these orders uh, due to the Digital Factory goof. So now that this is all handled, we will be all set to go with Digital Factory going forward. It is a perpetual license, so we will have continued access to Digital Factory for the foreseeable future until we decide if there ever becomes a time where we need to switch softwares. But man, guys, this is a huge relief. So happy to have this done. If you guys can hear though, I am currently running some of our custom AMS orders right now. Things are going well. I am 69% of the way through this file and then we have four other files that we got to get sent out today. All right guys currently running a test on the direct to paper i have one already printed i am currently queuing up some more right now and i am excited to see how this goes so far i think one problem might be that it's pretty hard to see where the transfer is on the other side of the film with the with the clear film obviously you can see right where it is place it on the t this is more like our screen print transfers so I'm pretty excited to see how it looks from the other side, if you can really see where the design is. And I am printing just a white design to see how it looks 
white design on the white paper. We'll have to give it a try, see how everything works out. I got the file all ready here. So let's go ahead, start it up. All right guys, all done. You can actually see it from the other side, so it's not gonna make lining it up impossible, uh, which is great. I was a little worried about that. There's the white. You can even kind of see the white. The white is definitely more difficult though. But yeah, you could see the, the colors, no problem. The white is definitely going to be a bit more of a challenge, but I got the heat press up to temperature. Let's give these a try. All right guys, got the shirt preheated and the transfer aligned. Let's go ahead and give this a try. direct to paper will it change the game let's find out i'm also recording a tiktok right now all right guys i don't really even know what this is if it's a cold peel hot peel i think i'm gonna try doing like a cool cold peel it seems to be probably a safe bet let me move the guys over here all right guys i am super excited i've been waiting to try this for like two weeks now i am uh really excited it's supposed to be brighter colors and like smooth like softer two attributes that i mean the brighter colors i don't really you can't get i'm pretty happy with the brightness of the colors but the softness i think can be improved so if this can be the solution that i'm looking for that will be awesome and it's amazing that this is even cheaper so I shouldn't talk too much, not before seeing and feeling the, the print. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give it a try, guys. All right, it doesn't really want to go just yet. I'm gonna, the table's a little warm. Let's go ahead and give it a little dry, see how we go. Oh, what is that? What is this? Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is the design. I haven't actually printed this design yet. I think it's possible that it is, but that is not great. Whatever happened here? Oh boy, let's go ahead and try one more time with a different design. You guys can't really see there, but what the heck is all this? It almost looks like powder, but I know that it's not. That is not very good. Let's go ahead and try a different design. All right, guys, got that going um, for another preheat. We'll see how this one does. I think it actually, it's possible that it's a hot peel. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a try with this next one. All right, guys, got the other design loaded up. Unfortunately, I didn't print multiple of these designs because I wasn't really expecting there to be problems. I probably should have foreseen this coming. Um, so this is going to be a different design, but it does have some thin areas that I think uh, we could replicate the issue if it is going to be like a actual problem with the transfer rather than just a problem with the process. So let's go ahead and give this a press, see how we do. I'm going to try pe uh, hot peeling it and uh, see what that gets me if it wants to hot peel or not. All right, guys, what do you think? Are we going to, is it going to work? All right, here we go. Going for a hot peel on this one. Nope, does not want to hot peel. <laughs> All right, so not sure what the problem is. I'm gonna let it cool and go from there. This is not looking good though, guys, not at all. Try and cool it down a little faster. I also, I kind of feel like I printed it on the wrong side. I don't know though, because it just said some weird instructions like print outward. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> All right, it's pretty cool. Let's give it a try. I don't know, like look at all this residue back on the transfer. This is not going to plan. Huh. 
So I definitely think it's a cold peel. It does feel thinner, honestly. Hmm. This is interesting, guys. So yeah, obviously this is all supposed to be filled in and not splotchy. As you're seeing, not too sure what the problem is, honestly. This is definitely going to take more experimenting than I was thinking. Okay guys, I just checked the website and they said uh, one side is coated and this side definitely feels like it's coated versus this just feels like some raw paper. I don't know. I think I might have printed it on the wrong side. All right, guys. So I guess I don't have it on the wrong side because this is just like straight up not printing properly. I don't even know what's going on, man. It's so weird. There's like no white being printed. Really weird. So weird, man. I don't think it's the right. Uh, I think I had it right the first time. I'm going to try again with a different design. Alright, we are going to try this design. See how it does. There's like not a lot of small elements, so... This will be like a test. Maybe it just does not like small elements, in which case that's still not going to be acceptable, but... I just got to figure out what's going on. I do not want to end the weekend thinking about this all weekend. Put in the comments, do you th I mean, there's nothing we're changing, so it's probably not going to work, but I guess this is why it's so much cheaper and they call it eco uh, film, paper, whatever. All right, guys, this is definitely cooled down. It is literally cold. Let's give it a try. All right, well, I think we can definitely say that this is better. Maybe it just legit has to be cold. I got some paper sticking to it up here. There we go. It's all off. Alright, so this one did go well. Maybe it just like legit has to be cold. The phone's ringing. Hang on. Alright, well that did work. As to whether it's softer, it, it kind of actually is. And it's a little thinner. Uh, the colors look pretty good on camera, like they look really good on camera. They don't look as good in person. Um, the contrast is turned all the way up on the camera. But it does look pretty good. I wouldn't actually say that there's much difference in the colors. I'm going to, I have another thin design. I'm going to give it a try uh, with the cold peel, see how it goes. And then we'll wrap up today. Okay guys, transfer has been cooling. It is definitely cool. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Fingers crossed, guys. Nope. Same thing, man. Damn. Didn't even get that part. That is... So this is definitely going to take some figuring out. Fortunately, that is where we're going to have to leave it, though. Shoot, this is bad. Like, right here didn't even transfer. Anyways, that is going to do it for this week in my life as a screen print and DTF business owner. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss when I publish a new video. We publish a new video every Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you guys have that bell turned on if you did enjoy this content. If you don't, don't worry about it. Don't. Uh, I don't want you getting notifications for something that you're not that interested in because then you'll just turn them off and possibly unsubscribe. So if you did enjoy this content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell if you want to be informed when I post a new video. Again, Sunday, every Sunday at 10 a.m. And if you are looking to order custom screen print transfers, custom DTF transfers, please feel free to check out the link right here, amstransfers.com. You can upload your own design, size it however you need, enter the quantity, and we also offer quantity discounts. So the more sheets you order, the cheaper your price per sheet will end up being. But with that, guys, that is going to do it. This is finally week eight, guys. We made it to week eight. That is the goal that I had for myself when I started these vlogs. So I'm so happy that I finally made it to week eight. Um, that means that I am going to invest in a uh, camera for this channel because I mean, we're, we're doing it. We are currently at week eight. 
and so currently no signs of slowing down or stopping. So I'm going to invest in a camera so that I will have a dedicated camera to film on and I'm not filming on my phone. And I think that will also make the content a lot better. I'll be more inclined to pick up the camera and get some footage for you guys. That's gonna do it for right now, this week, and I will see you guys next week.